talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and write them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. And now here comes the most difficult part because the church will be involved. You will also write a check. You will also teach him. Okay. You will remind him that you have done this for his dedication. And this is a parent child dedication as well as a covenant that is threefold that includes the church family. Now, church, the dedication that we have today is your covenant to support the relatives and friends, the parents, and most especially Jacob Eli in his growing up and to support all of them in raising Jacob Eli into full Christian maturity and in the faith of God. Do you promise to do that for Jacob Eli today? Let me see your hands. Wow. You will have a lot of Jacob, you know you did it, huh? I'm asking uh, Dr. Wilson Lau to please join me here. Let's offer a special prayer. Uh, Pastor Melvin Mora, please come. If you, if my relatives want to come up here to this to the stairs to stand while we dedicate Jacob, so on um, the Lucrita side, on um, the Lao side, where there's a mortal, can come right up here while we dedicate Jacob if you're, if you're willing. We all relatives, please. This is the whole church then, huh? Thank you. 
Gracious God, and kind loving Heavenly Father in heaven, this is a special moment, a special occasion where we would like to celebrate this special gift that you have provided to us and then not me. First of all, we'd like to thank you, Lord, for making them realize that they are weak, that they are inexperienced, that they are not capable of doing this alone without your help. That's why at this very moment, Lord, they have decided to dedicate you. Jacob, Eli, to you, Lord. Knowing that not unless they place him in your hands, it would be very, very hard for them, Lord, to take care of him. So at this very moment, Lord, we would like to ask you to bless this child, that you will allow this child to grow up, to become a good Christian, to become a good son of yours. So that while he's growing up, he will continue to bring joy and happiness to the whole family and inspiration as well. That you will provide him with talents that he can use, especially the talent in music that you have provided to this whole family, Lord. They're so gifted in music. So I know that this child will be gifted as well in music when he grows up. Not to, just to give it to himself, but to use this for your glory. Father God, bless all the people that are here. The fact that they came over is a testament of their love to this family. That they are here not just to witness this event, but to make this commitment that they will be involved in the growing up of this child, that they will give their 100% their support for to this child. That they will be the second dad and mom to this child. So that this child, when he's growing up, he will have a good environment and a good school. So Father God, thank you, Lord, again for this moment. In Jesus' name I pray. Our Father in heaven, Lord, Jacob Eli is in the sanctuary. A symbol of your divine presence, Lord. The parents, Nelson and Melanie, has brought him here. Once again, Lord, we would like to believe that the sanctuary is a symbol of your presence that when we are here, you are with us. And thank you, Lord, because you have gifted this couple with this wonderful child. And that they are giving him back to you, Lord, in the sanctuary. Be useful your glory and according to you. Let heaven be open, Lord, for his prayer. When the child will grow up, Lord, let heaven be open. And whenever he kneels down, bent his knees in prayer, you will come to his rescue. You will help him. You will give him, Lord, the desires of his heart. And you will be with him, Lord, until you come the second time. When he's traveling, Lord, when he's far away, when he's studying, Lord, give him the wisdom that he needs. When he prepares himself for the future, Lord, guide him and his thoughts. So that every sin, every decision that he makes, every thoughts that he thinks, and every act that he do will be according to you. Father, I pray for Elson and Melanie, most special way, and for the rest of family members here, and to 
for the church in general. Lord, we're gifting the children. May these children be a testament of our commitment to you today. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Our Father in heaven, we thank the Lord for blessing Elson and Melanie for fulfilling your command when you said go forth and multiply. Amen. Every Lord that they will produce more children. Amen. More than four, Lord, maybe more than six. Amen. But for now, Lord, we will lift up Eli, Jacob, Domingo, Lutrida to you, Lord. Amen. Bless him. Assign an angel, one or two angels to guide him as he grow and start school. Give him the strength, the wisdom he needs, Lord. When he starts to try, keep him safe in the road. And the parents provide a heart. And Lord, bless the parents, the grandparents, the uncles, the aunties, as they continue to support this little boy, handsome boy, looks like a dad, looks like the grandparents, and continue to bless them, Lord. Continue to bless this church as they also continue to support this boy. Be like Jacob, Thank you, Lord, for the promise that you always be with him. In his name. When Jacob is in the family, happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Thank you.